Welcome back guys, it's Evan here, showing you, you the rest of the, uh, classes variant that me and my brother haven't shown you. The scouts, the armor dams, the grenades, which we can use, the potion of visibility, which you have to use on the battlefield. You might saw we gave up half we are a quarter of the way through, but no, wait, that's wrong. The Rangers, the Snipers, the Heavies, and their Tinky Pot indicated missile. I can't think. We just have our item. You see on us and on our characters. This is Dax. I had plans for him to be in the video, but sadly I didn't have enough fact. It's what in my inventory. Have the OP book of awesomeness. Have the chrysalids, which is basically the 8 inch version of Rangers. Have the little flying robots. Now let me show you down here the experimental ones I'm planning to have, but I couldn't think of a way. Oh, this pathway going all the way in my out bedrock here, and that's we to the end portal. My brother man, the found one, run and dig to dig a hole all the way there. So I decided to make a pathway there. You know, this is right under the actual arena here <laughs> the reason they're bedrock everywhere so players don't accidentally like say there's a group a bunch of aliens here so they don't accidentally like <laughs> break their way out in the entire outside now the battle arena Do you know I have planned to make this world a bit bigger so I actually have like I can call it small infantry squad. Now that Skeletron robot mech thing <coughs> went put P in the pedal, but my will pro side but not in. <laughs> kind of funny. This is the building where Eric drone would hold up in his and it quick lit commander in here. Oh, by the way, these little bumps up here? That's intentional. It's to hold all our items and materials after the battle. It also shows you how many people you lost. I kinda lost the entire match. I tried playing the Minecraft version my only tragedy is to basically hammer in enemy, but now I played XCOM 1, I found out, no, I'm playing it on the easy difficulty, and I felt like it jumped to hard. But guys, it's not easy. Anyways, see this junk that Goes all the way back here. This is the will uh, Skeletron. It might be different than the than the one you saw, but hey, the closest thing I could get for my brother's side to kaboom. Anyway, this combat arena, you're going to go all the way until you see the big spruce tree here. Not this one. This one. Why is there always one random wood block that I told in there? All the way to this spruce tree. tree. It's going to be one of those longer maps, not wide. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go to the XCOM base. Well, the abandoned version, not the actual one. 
but I will show you, you know, so the rebel, the rebel XCOM base of what they're doing so far. Well, XCOM failed. This, you know, this is before they retrieved the commander here. And here, it's supposed to be a bunch of skeleton stuff, but I just put in a bunch of advent troopers in. With a special advent trooper down here. Here it is. The advent king. And you can see, protect the first wave is basically advent trooper. Second wave, advent shield. Third wave, advent elite officer. Oh, don't do that. Indeed, chat is on nothing. Next, I poke be the disc for the music things. Then, I'll try to poke be like random XCOM people who are trapped in here, but so far, nothing. And here's a lava part, still the same. Just add these little barricades here and there. Research lab still here with the bunnies. Also here, I have the biochemistry lab, the future. Okay, guys, can you please tell me why ice blocks are now suffocating people? They did in the past. Oh, behind the well, behind these pillars here. It's the actual dispenser giving the person the uh, abilities that they want. This is the gene labs. It's a small one than the actual one, but hey. I'm playing the the original one before Meld was introduced. Biohazard one lab. Don't worry, since I'm Give me. <coughs> oh! Ah, allergies. Since I'm an advent shield bringer or basically an advent representative, the suits are immune to this radioactive slime. To do that, you just need a slime block and a glowstone. Oh, you click slime block, glowstone. And it makes this cool effect back here. I didn't know this was possible. But you connect slime block with glowstone. Neat. With glass, it actually lights up down there. This is the this is the uh, mech room, and right here is going to be the mech area. Got the little mech part to make the people go into mech. It's going to be a long process, but I can get it done. Oh, I took a look at the uh, assembly line and. Dang, it, it looks more impressive than this. I should say, mine one doesn't stand up. I had the little parts and pieces to the hopper part. These are the little parts, these are... They... A rare raw iron gets turned into the parts, this assembles them, this puts more parts, this assembles them again, and... Boom, you got these, the little turret things. And the droppers aren't nothing. You can think what you can add in them. Sure, go ahead. Remember, dropper head is not pointing toward the wall. They're pointing this way. On all four, or it's like the sixth one, which I tried to drop her on it and it didn't look right. <laughs> so I had I had iron bar to the first one to look like will chain wrappers. This is the laser. This is a uh, plasma, not the actual one. Just a much cooler variety. I know there's only tech one, tech two, and tech three, which is the final tech of the original. But hey, I'd never get you by. I know the mech bay was different, but hey, 
this is a small XCOM base with the same idea. Dia. I made it. I'm. I'm planning to have these will. I have planned to have fence here and fence gate somewhere in, on here. Um, spruce and the spruce. Catch wearing a spruce biome. There we go. There we go. So now it's sealed off, even if you come out. Have a product, you won't do this. <laughs> Splat. <clears throat> Everything in here is hooked up and powered up and ready. And here are the post blast potions that keep the person who in the operation alive. And well. These things are very simple. Two iron block, two some they had three iron blocks, buttons on both sides, and whatever you want on it. <laughs> One of the droppers for the turning up raw goods into parts that, or the assembler. Do not if you have it in blocks, don't add the buttons. If you don't, then. That part is very simple. Here's one of them. I'm chilling. For the world changing gear. And the final part is yours. It can either be a fence for the world assembler or or one of these to turn raw iron into raw good material. You might make a moving one. Well, basically, add one of these black tires. Hang on. Um, there we go. Buttoned on the wheel. You might make a more convincing version, but hey, whatever goes with the flow or with your style, this is mine. Very simple, born stuff. You can make it um, either this or one of these. Hmm, hang on. Those work together, but sadly, there is no block that looks like that oh, unless you have a texture pack that make <coughs> makes one fence look like, like the hopper texture but <coughs> it would ever goes I tried putting a button on bottom or top sadly didn't work well top does but it kind of breaks the illusion Anyway, guys, the next episode will probably be me finishing up this mecha bay. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Evan, and always, Wart Wart Hong Kong from the Epic Lion Saplings.